for the first time. Magical Art presents Experimental Art. Tip, tap, tip, tap. Without further ado, let's get started. I get this paper and it has a lot of marker bleedings. Now let's make an art with it. I don't want to waste that paper. Maybe I can turn it out and add using my creativity. Both sides of the paper has the marker bleedings. So the question is now, what art supplies I am going to use it now? We are going to use the Ubiso Japan cheap color markers. I have been feel a lot of fear while using this color marker and today is the day I am going to overcome my fear and get master this to use this color markers. Yeah. I also made this rainbow color color pencil holder for me. I really liked it when I saw it for the first time. I fell in love with it. So I linked down the video in the description box below so you can check it out. You can make one of for yourself. Yeah. Okay, let's get back here. We have this two color gel pan, purple and green. You guys can use any gel pen you like these are the gel pen i'm going to use today these are the faber castells one i'm just wondering if i try using all the pinks we have for the purple gel pen quick update i tried to warm up but it's turned out i'm drawing up <coughs> i'm really upset about it but let's keep going taking my gel pen i'm drawing up plants leaf again and this time I'm going for the different plant and taking my 147 shade pale lilac color coloring it entirely and it does look like it, the gel pen is not blending with the color marker let me try again with another color to confirm the gel pen is not blending. I thought it's gonna be blend and it's gonna be look nicer. It, I I imagine something else in my mind, but it doesn't turn out what I imagine. But I still like it though. Let me try with this. And this is the purple reddish in a shade 87. It really turns out it the gel pen didn't blend okay it doesn't fulfill my expectation but it kind of look nice next going with the 126 fluorescent fluorescent pink it's a dark pink than the first pastel pink okay there is a another fluorescent pink let's see if they have the same shades like previous one drawing and filling the texture in it now coloring with the marker okay i have to agree they both are not the same shade but they are twin they are in a same shade 126 but the color is different okay next up let's try something different Let's try mixing colors together. Draw your big leaf. For the texture line, I decide to go with one side of it because it kind of look cool and it's showing through one another. It's kind of differentiate between another leaves. It's kind of look nice so I'm just leaving it. So there is a difference. Taking the vivid British purple, I'm outlining it and I'm going to fill it with 126 fluorescent pink. Using the chisel tip is more fun than using brush tip. I'm giving dark tone one side and light tone one side. We can see the difference now. I really want to color 
the other side of the leaf pale lilac but it turns out the first leaf I color the pale lilac so I'm just adding some dark tone in it so it doesn't show that much and it's kind of differentiate the leaves it's kind of look like beside it and the one that we first color is in front it's kind of fun you know so I'm trying another leaf the same way I did it the last one sorry previous one I'm using the chisel tip now. The brush tip is kind of boring oil type. So let me have some fun. The chisel tip is adding more fun to me. So let me enjoy it with it. The fluorescent pink is really nice when it comes to the other side of the leaf. I really like, I'm really glad that I gave that color. I really try mixing that color and now I know which color will be nice if I mixed. Next I'm drawing the pot and filling it with cool grey. Next stuff I'm taking the purple, the violet purple I'm just drawing the stem. This leaf has to be connected to the pot, the stem of the plant. To differentiate that, I'm using the dark violet purple. So that way, it does look like the real plant. Yeah, we know the pink plant does not exist, but it's kind of need to look realistic so it's like the magical arts it can be the magical arts mixing colors can give you an amazing result so don't be afraid to experiment the first plant I drew the pineapple plant I'm not really happy about it and the second plant I'm super happy with it it haunts me to try another one but let's try it with but this time i'm going to use an aqua brush to make sure the gel pen is really can blend or not i'm using this aqua brush of mine to make sure the gel pens are blending i thought they are gonna blend in with the color markers but they're not so let me make sure that if not my head will blow up I'm drawing a leaf using the green gel pen and adding some purple gel pen for the details I'm just giving the leaves lines just giving some texture to it so it does look like a leaf and now I'm trying to blend it with aqua brush but it bleeds as you can see the gel pen is bleeding it's not blending I don't know what to say but it the leaf kind of look realistic now let me go with my green markers again I want to try it since the first plan is failed I'm going to use another one this time I'm going to try experiment how to better the green markers drawing outlining the forest green and fill the leaf with the another two colors with leaving some white on it leaving some white space can make a heat different i never realized that until i tried for myself 
I also will recommend you to try it out. Just give it a shot. Try to leave some white space. It's kind of look different and you like it, I guess. See? That's what I'm talking about. I really liked it. It's getting better now. Let's try another. Ooh. Super fun. By experiment drawing, we can learn a lot more about art style and what really works better for me. I also got get to know how an art can turn magical in paper. In the paper, I really like the drawing pop out of the paper and showing through them, showing through just like magic. Experiment drawing is the only way to improve an art. I'm going to try it with the only way to improve and I really appreciate it okay I'm going to try another one I'm going to try blend it with the aqua brush trick one more time to see if they if there is any different than the previous one I really don't know why am I super excited when I drawing <laughs> this plant this plant make my day the first plant I had a really bad vibration I guess but this one it make me excited okay all the supplies that I been use link down in the description box if you guys are interested you can check it out later and don't forget about the pencil holder video i also link that down in the list sorry description box below the top corner doesn't still look empty i'm going to draw the vines on the top to get more plants white with some three green marker i'm drawing the vines don't forget to switch the colors otherwise it just look so dull i really like when the drawing pop out of the a lot so switching the colors and give some depth to the drawing switching colors can make your drawing giving some definition the texture depth okay don't forget to comment down below and tell how much you liked it which plant is your favorite and what do you think about your thoughts i really waiting can't wait to read your comments i'm super excited i really like this plants i hope you guys like too Finally, taking all the color markers that we use in this video today, I am going to swatch it at the background. So, the background doesn't look empty at all. Swatching colors can fill the space, white space and give some nice background to it. So, this is a quick tip from me, swatching colors at the background. That's it for today's video. I'm currently doing 100 plants drawing challenge and this is a part of it. I just used the marker bleeded paper to experiment my art style and complete my challenge. Drop a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed and subscribe if you want to. Well, I really love this one. This art make my day. Well, I see you guys in my next video next tuesday mm, other than bye